Queen Camilla just recycled her outfit from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal wedding. Queen Camilla knows that no good outfit should go to waste, here's how she reused her wedding guest look for Royal Ascot. Queen Camilla went no further than her royal closet to find an outfit for Royal Ascot. King Charles and Queen Camilla stepped out on Wednesday to attend the second day of horse racing at Royal Ascot. As they made their grand entrance in a horse-drawn carriage in the royal procession, royal watchers got their first glimpse of the Queen's ensemble for the daytime event, a pale pink coat dress by Anna Valentine. There's a reason the ensemble looked familiar. It was the same outfit Camilla wore to the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in May 2018. Coinciding with many wedding guests' choice to wear pastel colors including Meghan's mother Doria Ragland in mint green and Kate Middleton in light yellow Camilla's pink ensemble was perfect for the spring nuptials. It appeared that Queen Camilla, 75, wore the same three-strand pearl necklace with a pink center stone for Royal Ascot as she did in 2018 for the wedding. However, she did change her headpiece. For Harry and Meghan's wedding, Camilla wore a matching pink feathered hat, but opted for a beige Philip Tracy topper at Royal Ascot. Queen Camilla often recycles her favorite outfits, and she's not the only royal to do so. In fact, Charles walked his new daughter-in-law Meghan down the aisle on her big day in a gray Anderson and Shepherd morning coat, a garment that has been in his closet since 1984. British Vogue editor Edward Ininful once asked the royal if he had considered wearing something new for such an occasion, to which Charles replied, I have considered it. But in the case of that particular morning coat, while I can still get into it, I only wear it a few times a year, in the summer, so obviously you want to keep that kind of thing. But if I can't wear them, I'll have to get something new, continues Charles, now 75 but I'm not sure how radically different they can be at my age. While Queen Elizabeth is closely associated with Royal Ascot because of her lifelong love of horses and her regular attendance at the event, Queen Camilla and King Charles appeared animated as they watched the races on Tuesday and Wednesday during the first time the event was held since Queen Elizabeth's death in September. They looked through binoculars at times as they stood next to Sophia, the Duchess of Edinburgh. The couple were joined by Prince Edward and Sophia, as well as Princess and Zara and Mike Tyndall and other members of the royal family at the horse race. On Wednesday, musical theater legend Andrew Lloyd Webber, who composed the anthem Make a Joyful Noise for the coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla in May, took part in the royal procession. Other participants in the parade were Lord and Lady Halifax, who rode with the king and queen, and they were followed by Lord Soames, one of the king's oldest friends, and Lady Sarah Keswick, one of Queen Camilla's companions who assists her at royal engagements. And there were many nods to Queen Elizabeth, including a message from King Charles and Queen Camilla in the program that said the event always played a central role in the calendar of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth, and the naming of the Queen Elizabeth II Jubilee Stakes will be a fitting way to mark this lifelong interest. Queen Elizabeth owned many racehorses, which produced 24 winners at Ascot. Some photos of the late Queen's prize horses will be on display at the event and King Charles and Queen Camilla wrote that they were sure this exhibition will raise many happy memories.